Welcome back, I'm Sarah Bernard and joining me now are Pat and Kathy Florkey from the Center for Development in Central America, all the way from Nicaragua. <laughs> when did you arrive today? We've been in St. Louis a day or two. Okay, so not too long. But we've been in the United States since October 10th. Oh, so you've been here for a, a right. few weeks, yeah. yeah. But you've been living in Nicaragua for 20 years. That's right. And you were both Midwesterners, born and raised in Chicago. Mm -hmm. And um, Pat, tell us what you're doing in Nicaragua now. Well, we're, we're part of a small group that does sustainable community development work. We partner with poor Nicaraguan communities to help them meet their own basic needs. They tell us what they need, they tell us what's going to work, and then if we feel like we can contribute and work with them, we'll partner together to find alternatives to, to make life better for them. So do you move community to community in Nicaragua within the country or do you primarily stay in one area? We, we have our headquarters, if you will. We have our center located in the city called Ciudad Sandino, just north of Managua. But we've partnered with different communities in the area over the course of the years. What we like to do is do one project and then let the community take over and run it on their own and then we are free to move on to do something else. And so you're educating, training the people there, um, teaching new job skills, is that what you're primarily working on? Or? Actually Nicaraguans are extremely skillful and educated. Education is usually not the barrier for mm -hmm. them getting things done. They need resources, they need contacts, they need more person power. Sometimes we can bring volunteers down to help. Sometimes it's a matter of funding. Sometimes it's a matter of making connections. Mm -hmm. It's all de different depending on what the par particular project is. Okay, and now Kathy, you're here um, in St. Louis. You're gonna be presenting at St. Louis University this evening. That's correct. And um, to the School of Social Work, is that right? Yes, it's organized by the School of Social Work. Okay, but open to the public. Mm -hmm. And what are you gonna be talking about tonight? We're going to talk about Nicaragua and the situation of Nicaragua with the poor there, mm -hmm. and how our program of the CDCA works with poor communities to help them, as Pat was saying, meet their basic needs. We have a, a talk that lasts about 20, 25 minutes, illustrated by beautiful photos of Nicaragua mm -hmm. and the people that we work with. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so um, now, are you, um, is it your hope or do you plan to take more people from the United States? Do you bring groups down, mission groups, that kind of thing, to help with the work um, that you're doing in Nicaragua? Is that one of the objectives of speaking at St. Louis University tonight? We certainly do accept volunteers both in groups and individually. Mm -hmm. Our main interest in speaking wherever we speak, including tonight in St. Louis, is to let people know what's going on in Nicaragua and what kinds of alternatives there are. Okay. Because it's so very hard to get genuine information about countries like Nicaragua that aren't currently having a war or a hurricane yeah. or anything. Exactly. <laughs> so we like to share that information with folks. Pat, what is going on and what's the current state in, uh, in Nicaragua? Well, the vast majority of the people uh, live in extreme poverty. Mm -hmm. More than 50% of Nicaraguans survive on less than $1 a day. Mm -hmm. Here in this country, you can't even get a cup of coffee for $1 a day. Mm -hmm. And the kind of development models that are being globally promoted tend to benefit the rich more than they benefit the poor. And so we have people starving. We have people living in extremely substandard houses. We have 80% unemployment in the city where we're located with hardworking people that want to work, mm -hmm. have skills. Some of them have two or three different college degrees, but there's just no work because they're because of the way the country's developed or not developed. Right. So we can learn more about this tonight, but also through your website, if for those that can't attend mm -hmm. your presentation tonight, there's certainly ways to, to reach you. It's on our screen right now um, to reach out and, and help in whatever way is possible here from St. Louis. So the center to learn, if you'd like to learn more about the Center for Development in Central America, visit them online at jhc-cdca.org. And stay right here, STL TV Live will be right back.